Memasuki April, kekhawatiran soal meluasnya gejolak perbankan melibatkan bank-bank relatif kecil di AS akhirnya mereda. Langkah cepat pemerintah federal diyakini analis berada di balik pulihnya kepercayaan nasabah dan pelaku usaha. It seems like some of the concerns about bank deposits and some of the other regional banks have abated a little, which is giving us a, a, a little bit of a cushion here on a slightly up market as we are today. So we're kind of back to fundamentals, back to companies that are able to produce good results. Sebagian besar analis menilai peningkatan suku bunga secara drastis oleh Bank Sentral AS atau Federal Reserve belum menyebabkan krisis kredit atau credit crunch. A credit crunch is the inability of households and businesses to get the credit that they need. Uh, we experienced a credit crunch in the wake of the financial crisis back about a decade ago, for example, when the banking system, the financial system broadly was under a lot of pressure, uh, didn't have the resources or capital or liquidity to make a lot of loans. Uh, the, uh, households and businesses couldn't get the credit they need and it weighed on uh, the economic recovery at, at the time. So the 0809 financial crisis is in a league of its own. What we're experiencing now doesn't feel very good. It's very uncomfortable, but it's nothing compared to what we suffered back uh, in that uh, crisis. Tapi salah satu konsekuensi suku bunga tinggi, perlambatan ekonomi pasti terjadi. Dan resesi hampir pasti. Salah satu indikator laju inflasi yang sering menjadi acuan utama bagi bank sentral dalam menetapkan kebijakan suku bunganya, yaitu indeks harga belanja personal atau PCE, melemah ke angka 5% dibandingkan tahun sebelumnya. Ini lebih rendah dibandingkan angka tahunan pada bulan sebelumnya yang mencapai 5,3%. Perlambatan inflasi memungkinkan the Fed tak seagresif sebelumnya. The Fed has made it clear that their goal is to slow growth in the economy, to lower inflation, and those two things usually, if not always, lead to a recession. And now that we're seeing stress in the banking system, not solvency stress, liquidity stress, credit conditions will begin to tighten, and these are things that happen right before a recession. So it's basically a given at this point that a recession will happen. The question is how severe will said recession be? I think that it's not going to be a very deep recession. And the reason why is because we continue to see resilience in the job market. As long as there's resilience in the job market, we have more job openings than people who need jobs. It's very hard to have a serious depression or any sort of serious recession. Seperti regulator di AS, regulator di Eropa pun berupaya kuat mencegah terulangnya krisis kredit dan perbankan seperti yang terjadi 2008. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.